what is up youtube welcome to a brand new video and in this video i'm gonna show you guys how to set up a dual pc for streaming and recording all right let's get right into it so as you see on screen you got your gaming pc and you got your streaming pc i have a 4k 60 pro uh, capture card but it's the same steps if you're using uh let's say hd 60s plus all right so your capture card from your gaming pc you're gonna want an hdmi cable which comes with the products with your capture card products you want that hdmi cable to go from your gpu uh inside your gaming pc into your in port in your capture card and that's it it's all the wiring you need except if you're using an e60s plus you're gonna have an uh usb cable that usb cable will go into one of your usb ports into the streaming pc and that's it that's all the wiring you need okay now that we have all the wiring set up you want to go to your streaming pc you want to open up a browser you want to go to agato.com which i'll leave a link in the description you want to select your product right in this case we got a 4k 60 pro windows and you want to download this 4k capture utility once that 4k capture utility is uh downloaded you want to open it and i'm gonna show you guys the settings um you wanna i think you guys want to mess with the settings yourself but this is the settings that i have so far um you go to device uh, uh capture card whichever one it is if it's 4k 60 pro or hd 60s plus you want to select it on capture device and you want to go to hdmi color which i have expand input edid mode display and since i have a, a 1440p display monitor i select 1440p okay and that's it that's all you do for this 4k utility okay so now you want to download obs studio on your streaming pc as well as your gaming pc once obs is downloaded on both of your pcs you want to go into your gaming pc you want to open up that obs you go to scenes you can rename it i named the game then you go into source you want to add a source by clicking this plus button and you select game capture this will only capture your game. If you wanted to capture your desktop, you want to create a new scene. You go into add a new source and then you click display capture. Okay. Once that's done, you might be asking yourself, well, what are you going to do with these scenes? So what I do is I right click any scene that I'm going to use. Let's say desktop, right? You want to right click it and you want to go to full screen projector and you should see your capture card up here you want to click it what this does is sends this capture right here to your obs studio in your streaming pc the reason why i have this set up like this it prevents screen tearing while gaming while capturing your game um there is other ways to do this but i feel like this is a more effective way to prevent that screen tearing all right you guys so i switched it over to my phone to show you guys my streaming pc so from your streaming PC, you want to open up that OBS that we downloaded earlier. You want to go to scene, you can name it whatever. You go to source, you want to add a source. You go to video capture device, click on it, create new. Okay, you can name it whatever you want. And then from here, you want to click on device. And your device should pop up here. For me, it's that game capture 4K60 Pro. Click on it. And there you go we have the display capture from our gaming pc showing into our streaming pc um for these settings i'm just gonna leave it default you guys can mess around if you like um but that's pretty much it okay you guys so lastly you want to go to your gaming pc open up nvidia control panel you want to go to change resolution and you should see a separate monitor for your gaming capture okay so you want to click on it and right here where it says resolution you want to change it to your gaming monitor resolution okay for me 1440p so the 4k 60 pro maxes out at 144 hertz for uh, 1080p i think it's 240 okay so um to further reduce screen tearing on your capture card you guys want to go to manage 3d settings you go to program settings and you want to select the game that you guys are going to be streaming or recording. I'm going to take Fortnite, for example. You go down to vertical sync right here. 
and you should have it on fast or on on to prevent that screen tearing on your capture card if you guys don't see your game here you could add it and anything on your desktop should pop up right here okay and then you click add program all right you guys so that's the end of the video i know some of the steps were hard to follow so if you guys have any questions please do not hesitate to leave them down below i'll gladly answer every question you guys have or you can ask me live on twitch.tv links in the description see ya